Easter Island is one of the clearest and simplest examples of a society that destroyed itself. Easter is the most remote habitable scrap of land in the world, an island about 4,000 kilometers west of the coast of Chile, settled by Polynesians about AD 800, and famous for the gi gigantic stone statues weighing up to 80 tons that the islanders erected and then eventually tore down. So there's been a long-standing mystery how the islanders erected these gigantic statues without machines on an island without any trees or sources of rope and why they tore them down. The answer has come out from studies by archaeologists in the last several decades, and it turns out that when Polynesians first settled Easter Island, it wasn't a bare grassland as it is today, but it was covered with a forest, including the world's biggest palm tree. And the islanders began to cut down trees for the usual reasons, clear gardens, have wood for construction and dragging statues and canoes, build their houses for fuel, and they continued to chop down trees until around 1680 they chopped down the last tree on the island, at which point they no longer had wood or rope to erect the statues, but also without trees, the soil was not protected against erosion, and they couldn't go out to sea to harpoon tuna. So Easter Island society collapsed. Obvious. Easter Island, isolated in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, when the islanders got in trouble and had wrecked their island. There was no place that they could turn for help. They had no place to which to flee and no friends whom they could summon for help. But similarly, if we wreck the planet Earth, isolated in the middle of space, there isn't any other planet or galaxy from which we can summon help, and there's no galaxy to which we can flee. So the collapse of Easter Island is a metaphor for what may be the collapse of global Earth society ahead of us.